This is the format. Martinez, her first attempt. Now, there's not much of a breeze today, but we'll see how it's affecting her down there. Gold in the long jump in Swansea. It's her strongest event, occasionally forays into the track, into the relays as well. Martinez has gone beyond five metres, certainly. Katrin muller also in this, who won the 200 metres yesterday. Gossier, Ignacia Poland, who won the bronze, a really strengthening Polish programme. Now, this being T12, medium visual impairment, they and the T11s have got that very wide board, and it's from the takeoff point to the landing point. Five metres 41, and she is in the lead. For the long jump, another Belarusian, Anna Kaniuk, the former European champion from Stad Canal in the Netherlands in 2012. And she's gone a good distance there, certainly. Her uh, season's best is 5.46. That would be good enough for the lead at the moment. Ukraine have not sent a team here. So the reigning uh, Paralympic Games champion, Oksana Subkovska of Ukraine is not here. They were the second most successful nation back in Swansea two years ago, and they were very successful in London. But it's opened the door for other athletes to come in, and Kanyuk third with a 5.25. Now, the women's long jump, and what a day it was yesterday for Katrin muller -Rockard. The best result of her life, European champion in the 200 metres, but also very good in the long jump. She led early on with an attempt of 5 metres 30. Very close, that was, to a lifetime best. She's already broken that this year of 5.27. So one lifetime best this morning of 5.30. And that'll be measured from the toe print all the way through to the land. And it's another lifetime best, 5 metres 38. And Sarah Martinez only leads by three centimetres. So let's go back to the women's long jump. Katrin muller rockart the 200 European champion from yesterday. Tilting for medals here again. And that's a really decent effort. She set two lifetime bests already. 5 metres 30 in the first round, 5.38 in the second. Sarah Martinez leading on 5.41. Oh, she used that board absolutely perfectly. Not that it really matters in this, because it's obviously measured from the final toe print. But she's in the lead, 5 metres 45, and she's looking for a second gold here. Second place at the moment. This is Sara Martinez of Spain. And the women's long jump T12 final. Good support from the crowd for Sara Martinez. <laughs> Just knocked off her perch in the last round of jumps by Katrin muller rotgard 5.45 for the German. Has Sara Martinez gone further? She has, 5.53 it is for Sara Martinez. So she retakes the lead. The long jump then, Anna Kanyuk. Of Belarus, Kanyuk. Best so far, 5.25, opening round jump. That was her fourth effort. And 5.45 it is for Anna Kanyuk. So that's a 20 centimetre improvement on her best. And she closes the gap to the current leader, Sara Martinez. It goes level actually with Katrin Muller Rotgard, who currently holds second place in that women's long jump T12 final. Hotting up there, and we'll keep our eye on it. Here is Katrin Muller Rotgard. As we say, 5.45, tied for second place at the moment with Anna Kanyuk. Can she make any further improvement? She's had a whole host of PBs in this competition so far. Jump number four, is there anything left in the legs to get 
through the 5.5 metre mark, maybe. That is Muller Rutgard, 5.37, her fourth round effort. No improvement on 5.45, as we say. Lock level with Anna Kanyuk in second place at the moment. Sara Martinez still leading the women's long jump. Go through. Let's go back to the long jump and our leader, Sara Martinez. Great opportunities here of the retention of a European title. Good attempt in round three of 5.53 to put her in front after Muller Rutgard had led for a while. It being T12, that's obviously the longer takeoff area and a good land as well. 5.44, it's not an improvement, but she still leads by eight centimetres from Muller Rutgard. And a can Playa Faust of Spain in the long jump and needing something good to get herself into the top three. Way down the rankings she is. She started with a 4.44. Of all being around four and a half metres. Yeah, about a, about a metre down on the... Leading group of this long jump, Martinez, Muller, Rutgard, and Kanyuk. Player Faust with 4.25 metres, her uh, shortest effort so far, so no improvement there and no challenge on the medal positions at the moment. Shortly. Anna Kanyuk, round five in the women's long jump. She's currently in third place with a 5.45 in the previous round, level with Muller, Rutgard, but Muller, Rutgard leads. On countback, a longest second attempt of 5.38. So, even if Kanya only gets 5.39 here, that puts her into the silver medal position. And it is around that range. Obviously a bit more difficult to judge because of the measurement from the takeoff point and covered in chalk. 5.35, and she stays in the bronze medal position. Gold medalist in the long jump in Stack Canal in the Netherlands in 2012. Couple of bronzes. Katrin Muller Rockart, the result of her life yesterday. First gold medal of her career in the 200 meters. Fifth in the long jump at the Worlds in Doha. Silver in the long jump. In the last Europeans in Swansea, along with silver in the one and the two. So her penultimate attempt, 5.45, tied with Kenya. T12 medium visual impairment. It's a lot more unusual to see a guide in this, but obviously in the uh, T11, which is a, a remarkable event. The guides are there. 5.33 for Muller Rockart. She stays in second place. Sara Martinez, our leader in the women's long jump T12, a leader with 5.53. The reigning European champion. She's been competing for her country, the former swimmer, since the 2004 Paralympic Games in Athens. She was 14 years old there. Still only 26. It's a good solid effort. Again, it's heading out beyond five meters. That's been the case with the top three, Martinez, Muller, Rotgart and Kanyuk. Good drive down the takeoff stretch and again perfectly on the takeoff area. Obviously, if she is shy of that, they only measure from the start of the chalk. Five minutes 14 this time. That's her shortest to date. Few spectators in here at the Carlo Zucchini Olympic Stadium in Grosseto. Some good crowds over the weekend. Player Faust of Spain, who's down in fifth place at the moment. 4.46, her best so far. Her lifetime best, 4.72. Her season's best, 4.52. Catalonian, Barcelona born, 18 year old. Her first major championship. 
three from Spain in this event. But only our leader Martinez is up there. I was asking a lot for the uh, other two Spanish to get into the medals as the lifetime best at the moment are about 70 centimetres short of what would be bronze. 4.43, her best of the day, 4.46, and she'll finish in fifth. Weather conditions really good, and it's not obviously all been the case this week, Rob. Uh, a couple of hours north of Rome, where we are. Indeed, certainly ice cream weather today. That chap in the crowd there has got exactly the right idea. Hats on as well for a few of our spectators here. Not even midday, and it's already roasting hot here in Tuscany. Thankful of our shady position at the moment, Will. So, Sara Fern Fernandez rolled down in the women's long jump. 4.71, her best so far. Needs something pretty special here to challenge the medals. Her final effort, Sara Fernandez rolled down. Has she got anything left? It's, it's well over four metres. But it's got to be over five to be troubling the medals. So at first glance, looks like Fernandez Roldan is done and dusted and will not medal in the women's long jump T12. Just waiting confirmation of that for Fernandez Roldan. Four seventy one, as we say, her best. Still some way short of the top three. But good competition experience for her and her teammate player Faust as well. Four fifty six for Sara Fernandez roll down, so that's her final effort. She'll finish fourth. So now the women's long jump wrapping up third place. Anna Kanya, 545. 540 would do it on Kanbak. She's tied with Mola Rotkan at the moment. That's a good, solid effort. Has she managed to pull it out of the fire in this women's long jump final? She's had a very successful career. She's been meddling in the long jump since Athens 2004. Squarely on the board. Has Kanyuk managed to improve enough? Remember, 5.45 her best, but she doesn't need to improve on that. She needs to improve on her second longest attempt, and she's done it. 5.44, she goes into the silver medal position ahead of Muller Rothgart. Instant chance to fight back for Muller Rothgart. 5.45 her best. 5.40, her second best. So now, basically needs to throw out another 5.45. Uh, if it's 5.44, then it goes to the third longest attempt. And you can calculate that yourselves. Oh, that's another beauty. It's out well beyond five meters again. It's certainly around that five and a half she's been bombarding all morning. Gold in the 200 meters. And obviously, don't forget, Kanye Camilla Rutgart only eight centimeters behind the gold of Sara Martinez. It's still achievable for the German. 5.43 misses out by a centimeter on count back. I've never seen it go closer than that. And here is our turn a row European champion. Sara Martinez has seen Muller Rothgard and Kania come very, very close. But they both missed out by eight centimetres, and they had their own personal battle for the silver. But Martinez rounding off a very good gold medal performance. 5.53 are best to this point. And this her lap of honour. Good competitive event this was. Kanyuk had been European champion before, and she has come the closest with the silver, which was won on count back. But Martinez taking the gold yet again. 5.39, a final attempt. 
but she is the European champion again. Excellent result for Martinez, who's been very successful. She's always been winning long jump medals the past four or five years, and she's got the gold here. The European champion for the second time. She did it in Swansea. She's done it again here in Grisetto. After her bronze on the long jump and the four by one in the Worlds in Doha last year. Sarah Martinez takes a 5.53, Kanyuk 5.45 and 5.44 against Mullerotgaard's 5.45 and 5.43.